Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. Romans chapter 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, and not only so but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us for when we were yet without strength in due time Christ died for the ungodly for scarcely for a righteous man will one die yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die but God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us much more than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him for if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life and not only so but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement wherefore as by one man's sin entered into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned for until the law sin was in the world but sin is not imputed when there is no law nevertheless death reigned from adam to moses even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression who is the figure of him that was to come but not as the offense so also is the free gift for if through the offense of one man be dead much more the grace of God and the gift of grace which is by one man Jesus Christ hath abounded unto many and not as it was by one that sinned so is the gift for the judgment was by one the condemnation but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification for if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one jesus christ Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered the Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Chapter 6 What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? 
Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more, death hath no more domination over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of righteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead in your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have domination over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye, o ye obey, whether of sin unto death or to obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that from a doctrine which was delivered, you being then made free from sin, ye become, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members, servants to uncleanliness and to iniquity, unto iniquity, even so now yield your members, servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed, for the end of those things is death? But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Chapter 7 Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to you. I sp know ye not, brethren, for I speak to, speak to them that know the law, how that the law hath domination over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress though she be married to another man. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. But now we are delivered from the law and being dead, wherein we were 
that he that we shall serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter what shall we say then is the law sin god forbid nay i had not known sin but by the law for i had not known lust except the law had said thou shalt not covet but sin taken occasion by the commandment wrought in me all manner of concupiscence concupiscence for without the law sin was dead for i was alive without the law once but when the commandment came sin revived and i died and the commandment which was ordained to life i found to be unto death for sin taking occasion by the commandment deceived me and by it slew me wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good was then that which is good made death unto me god forbid but sin that it might appear sin working death in me by that which is good that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful for we know that the law is spiritual <clears throat> but i am carnal sold under sin for that which i do i allow not for what I would that I do, I not. But what I hate that I do, that do I. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then it is no more that I do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing for it. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good evil is present with me for i delight in the law of god after the inward man but i see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members O wretched man that i am who shall deliver me from the body of this death i thank god through jesus christ our lord so then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. Never forget that we all battle sin. We all fall short. That is why God forgives more times than we can keep count of in a single day. But to seek his forgiveness, you must do it wholeheartedly. You must do it with a heavy heart and truly seek the forgiveness that he is offering. May you all have a wonderful day. Much love.